This is the real Tom Rose, and uh, this question um, I find logically to be quite confusing, even though I understand really what they're saying. Um, there's two ways to do it. One is for you to actually calculate the, uh, it says the ratio of the areas of two circles is 25 and 16. Obviously they're setting you up, so if you want to, you could pick a smart number for, um, for the measures of the, like the diameters of the circles. I guess 25 is a perfect square and so is 16. But um, let's not do that. Let's, let's do the generic answer actually. So if the ratio of the two areas, and, and the way to do generic answer is um, don't try to keep track of the logic of everything that's going on. Just write down things that are true and use algebra to figure out what they're asking for. So the ratio of the areas is 25 to 16. So let's say area one over area two equals 25 over 16. Okay, area one is pi r1 squared, area two is pi r2 squared, right? So they wanna know what number when multiplied by the smaller diameter, which is r2, will give the larger one. So we wanna put this in the form um, r1 equals something r2. So they're sort of saying solve for R1, right? So the pi's cancel, that's nice. And you get uh, 25R2 squared equals 16R1 squared. We're trying to solve for R1, so we want uh, divide by 16 on both sides, and we get um, 25 r2 squared over 16 equals r1 squared. Let's take the square root of both sides. And we have nothing but perfect squares inside there, which is nice of them. So what you end up with is 5r over 4. 5r2 over 4 equals r1. So if you want to put that in the form that they're looking for, we well, already kind of did, but let's just get right up next to it. You get R1 equals 5 fourths R2. So that's your answer.